Well, a Dallas couple filed a lawsuit against Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rashi Rice and SMU Mustang Teddy Knox for injuries they suffered during a high-speed crash on North Central Expressway. Fox Force Paige Ellenberger here with the latest on that, Paige. Good morning. In the lawsuit, a couple describes suffering brain trauma, internal bleeding, bruising, and needing facial stitches. Police say Chiefs Rashi Rice was driving a Lamborghini SUV and SMU's Theodore Knox was driving a Corvette on North Central Expressway in Dallas back on March 30th when they crashed into four other cars. According to an arrest affidavit, Rice was driving 119 miles an hour seconds before the crash happened, and Knox, who was driving around the same speed, slowed down to about 90 miles per hour before the crash. Photos from TMZ show both drivers leaving the scene after the incident. The Dallas couple is seeking $1 million to cover their medical care and an additional $10 million in punitive damages. They were just commuters traveling along 75 with absolutely no notice as to what was about to happen. It's one thing to speed and to contest yourself and slow down knowing that it's time to back off. And it's quite another thing to race somebody else and have your ego involved. Rice and Knox turned themselves into the Glen Heights Police Department last week before posting bond. Both are facing one count of aggravated assault, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and six counts of collision involving injury. All this while Chiefs head coach Andy Reid told reporters Rice will participate in voluntary off-season meetings virtually. Reid said the team will allow law enforcement to finish up their investigation and then decide what actions they will take after that.